Hello and welcome to samaro.ai. Samaro is a new age event assistant and AI photo sharing platform where hosts, guests and event vendors collaborate for a great event experience. In this demo, I'm going to tell you how as a business, for example, a photographer, event planner or even an organization, you can use Samaro to host and manage all your events. First, come to samaro.ai and here you will see a landing page. Now on the right left corner is the login option. Use the login option and select business. Now here you can use the Google option or you can use the normal email option if you have accounts on any other email provider. Now I will receive this OTP on my email. Now it will prompt me to create a new account because I'm logging in with this email ID for the very first time. And then I will be prompted to tell the business name. Enter your business website address. Now you will be taken to the Samaro's dashboard. This is how a business account dashboard looks like. On the right hand side, you will see certain items so that you can complete your profile, watch the explainer video, finish your business profile, invite your team and create your first event. So one of the first things that you should do is go to the profile section and fill up all the details about your business. First upload a business logo and a phone number and select services offered. And once you've selected the service that you offer, go ahead and write a few details about the company. And then you can enter your social media handles and save your business details. So now once you've filled all your business details, then go to your personal details section and here you will see an option of phone number. Click on the edit icon and then I will enter my WhatsApp number. Since I already have an account, I am going to skip this step. In your my account section, you will see all your plan details like how much storage you used, the event numbers and your plan details. For example, on the free account, you get two events, 40 event guests, 10 GB of total storage and one year of plan balance. Now, once you've watched the explainer video, finished your business profile, the next thing that you should do is invite your team. So typically, a lot of platforms don't allow you to add your team. And in that way, what happens is that you will have to share your login credentials with your teammates. And that's not really safe. So we've given you the option of adding your teammates. Now, in order to invite your team members, simply enter their email addresses and assign them a role. Let's say I give them the admin and I send an invite. Now, as you can see, the system is prompting me telling that user is already added to another business. And that is why I'm not able to add this email ID. So if an email ID is already associated with another business on Samaro, you will not be able to add that same email ID to another business. So just keep that in mind. So now for the purpose of this demo, I will use my old email ID. Now, Samaro will send an invitation to this email ID and once they accept, they'll be able to log into this account with their own credentials. So this is how your empty dashboard would look like. You can explore this at your pace, go through each options. You can definitely use the explore Samaro option where we tell you how to create an event, how to upload photos, adding guests, including itinerary in your events, all of that. Now, once you've done all of this, I would recommend that you log out and also create a personal account. And in order to create a personal account after you create your business account, remember to use the same email ID. That way, both your personal and business account will be connected with each other. So add a WhatsApp number that you've added in your profile section on your business account. And if you're not added there, once you add here itself, your account will be linked and you will be able to use our WhatsApp phone. Now, because you viewed the same email ID, it is telling you that you have already signed up for a business account and activate your personal account also. So we'll go ahead with the first option. Now then it will prompt you to take a selfie. So take a selfie and upload, right? So this way you've created your personal account as well. Now, the great thing is that with this, you can switch between your personal and your business account. 
Why we have done this is because as a business, we don't take any selfie from you on that account. And if you would want to see your pictures with your face in an event, you would have to switch to the personal account. Now I will show you a business account which already has lots of events. Now this is an account of a photographer who has lots of events. And as you can see on the dashboard, there are multiple ways in which you can filter these events. If you want, you can filter them by owner events. If you want, you can filter them by co-host events. And if you want, you can filter them by guest events. Since this is a business account, this business is not added to most of the events as co-host or guest. However, you can do that as well. And based on the type, for example, wedding, trade fair, cultural, and lot more. We also give you option to sort your events by the guest count, join date, start date, and event date. So if you want to see which all the events have the highest number of guests and you want to sort them according to that, you can use the guest count option. As you can see, this event has 163 guests. Another way in which you can classify your events is on the basis of whether there is an upcoming event that is going to happen in future or the events which have already happened, which you can see with the past label. Now let's enter this event and see how an event looks like from inside. So this is the event homepage and this is how it looks to all the participants of the event. You have an itinerary section where you can see all the sub events and its location and timings. You can see who are the co hosts, guests, who are the businesses associated with this event, and you can set a nice cover picture. And when you upload a cover picture, if you want to readjust it, you can also readjust it. And one of the great things about business accounts and how do they differ from personal accounts is that on business accounts, we give a lot of branding for the business. Right next to Samaro's logo is the business's name. On the event homepage also, we show the business. And even on the business's section, the owner is shown first. However, if you want, you can add other businesses also, like decorator, makeup partners, event planner, and they will be grateful to you for the visibility that you're giving to them on the event. Now, if you want to upload the pictures, you can go to the event gallery by clicking on the photos. And here, the first thing that you will see is the official section. So on business accounts, we show the official photos first, then guests, then my uploads. And if you want to see pictures, your own pictures, you can shift to the personal account, find that event, go to the photo section, and there you will find my photo section. And on the my photo section, you can see the pictures where you feature. Samaru makes it easy for you to add your guests simply by sharing the contacts with the Samaru WhatsApp bot. To do that, first select the event by using the select command with the passcode of the event. In case you don't remember the passcode, you can use list command to see the event passcode. Once the event is selected, you can share the contacts of the people you wish to add. All of them will get added with guest permissions. At the same time, our WhatsApp bot will message all these guests an invitation to join the event with the event link. Also, don't forget to add your event vendors like photographer, event planners, etc. That way, your event vendors, especially makeup artists and photographers, won't fight over taking pictures. You can also use the event link and passcode of the event to invite your guests. This option is especially suited if you wish to get RSVP done from your guests. The event link directs people to the public event page which serves as a digital invitation or public landing page for your event. The guests who wish to attend the event can RSVP by logging in and start receiving event updates and photos. Samaro collects a selfie from all users at the time of login to run facial recognition and give them their photos. To get signups from guests during the event, you can use QR code which you can find in the event settings under sharing option. To design your banner, you can use one of the options from our Canva templates or create your own posters using the QR. You can put up banners with same around this guest table and common areas so that people can scan them. Samaro event QR codes have event passcodes embedded in them so that guests can scan the QR code using their phone camera or Google Lens without the need to enter the passcode. Most new Android phones or iPhones can scan QR code and take you to the event link. After joining the event, all guests will get a success message on WhatsApp. 
With Samaro, you don't need to be logged into the web app to share and upload photos or videos. Once the guests are added by sharing their contact with Samaro bot or through self sign up, they can start sharing photos and videos directly to WhatsApp. We use the start event time to update all guests about the event timing and also prompt them mid event to share photos with Samaro WhatsApp bot. That way, people know when the event is starting and also share photos which get saved on the online gallery. This is how Samaro.ai crowdsources photos and videos from everyone. And if any of your functions or sub events are running late, you can simply update the timing and everyone will get the update on their WhatsApp. This is really a useful feature for all events, whether it's a college festival, corporate event, or wedding. With Samaro, your guests won't have to keep waiting or guess when the barat will arrive or reception will start. If he or she is already part of one or more events in Samaro, they can select your event by using the select passcode command. Once you get the success message for selecting the event, they can simply start sharing photos and videos from your phone's image gallery. And voila, all these memories will be uploaded on the media gallery of event on Samaro. Now, in this event, if you want to upload media, you can upload it from the upload media module. While uploading media, select the sub event in which you wish to add the pictures. Now, if you want to see pictures by sub events or functions, you can go to the sub events filter, select the sub event, and your pictures will show up there. You can also sort images by capture time, favorite count, file name, file size, etc. By default, the photos on the gallery are sorted by upload time so that the latest pictures show up first. But if you would want to see a proper story being unfolded in the pictures, I would highly recommend selecting the capture time and select the ascending order and apply. That way, you would be able to see photographs in the chronological order and that will tell a beautiful story through your photographs. Now, if you want to see any image in full gallery view, just tap on the image or click on it and then you can view pictures in the full gallery mode. You can even expand the photo to take the complete screen size. And then just press escape to get back to the gallery. Now, if you would want to delete pictures, move some photos from one sub event to another sub event, or mark pictures private or public, you can perform these operations by selecting the pictures. To select pictures, you can use the command key or shift key to select the image and the options menu bar will open up. Here it will show you the number of pictures that you select, the option to mark them private or public, unmark official or download or delete them. And if you want to see the videos, just click on the videos tab and the videos will show up. One of the great aspects about Samaro is that it plays videos in 4K quality natively. In order to navigate inside the event, you can use the options on the left sidebar. Media, guests, sub events, event settings. And once you go inside the sub event settings, you can drill down further into sharing options, WhatsApp, analytics, trash, all of it. So use the sidebar to navigate to various options inside the events. You can also use the event link and passcode of the event to invite your guests. This option is especially suited if you wish to get RSVP done from your guests. The event link directs people to the public event page which serves as a digital invitation or public landing page for your event. The guests who wish to attend the event can RSVP by logging in and start receiving event updates and photos. And once you go inside event settings, it takes you further down to general sharing, WhatsApp, analytics and trashing option. And if you want to come back, just press event. Now let me tell you what are the main differences between a personal and a business account. A personal account will not give you the option to add your team. Also business accounts get subscription plans, which are a lot more affordable when you look at the per event cost. As you can see in the team section, you can add your team members, lots of members for this photographer has been added. If you want to invite further, you can use this option. In your My Account section, you can see which subscription plan is attached to your account. This account is on Advanced Plan, which gets 4 TB of storage. And each event 
can have up to 2000 people one of the great things about samaro is that we don't put any restriction on the facial recognition so you can upload as many pictures as you want and facial recognition will run on each one of them and when people enter an event and they want to see their pictures all they have to do is go to the media or click the my photos section on the event homepage and it will take them to show the pictures where their face is there so i attended a friend's wedding and we hosted it on samaro and i can be seen in a lot of pictures so the main difference is between personal and business accounts one is that in each event you get your branding second you can invite your team members and manage the account together and third you get affordable subscription plans where each event costs you about 200 to 400 rupees only samaro is built for privacy and to ensure you never miss a moment so if you are not yet part of any event on samaro then go and sign up on samaro.ai and elevate your event experience